The Arthrex lateral ankle reconstruction technique with the presutured lateral ankle tendon is ideal for continued laxity of the anterior talofibular ATFL, and calcaneofibular CFL ligaments. This reconstruction technique provides stable fixation of the ATFL and CFL using Arthrex tenodesis screw technology. Initially, a tunnel is drilled in the talus, making sure not to violate the articular cartilage. Insert a 2.4 mm tenodesis guide wire into the talus from dorsal to plantar. Drill over the guide wire with a 5.5 mm cannulated drill to a depth of 17 mm. After removing the guide wire and drill from the talus, proceed to drill the first of two tunnels in the distal fibula. The first 2.4 mm tenodesis guide wire should be placed 14 mm proximal to the distal tip of the fibula. After placing the drill pin, drill over the guide wire with a 5 mm cannulated drill through both cortices anterior to posterior. The second fibular drill tunnel should be placed 5 mm proximal to the distal tip of the fibula. Insert the 2.4 mm tenodesis guide wire and drill over the wire with a 5 mm cannulated drill through both cortices in a similar fashion. Once fibular tunnel preparation is completed, load the presutured allograft onto the 5.5 mm biocomposite tenodesis screw and driver and insert the tendon and screw into the Taylor tunnel. After fully seating the tenodesis screw, feed the nitinol tenodesis wire through the fibular tunnels and shuttle the free end of the graft through the fibular tunnels. Pull tension on the free end of the graft and insert a 4.75 mm biocomposite tenodesis screw. When making the final tunnel for the calcaneus, place a 2.4 mm tenodesis guide wire 16 mm from the peroneal tubercle. Prior to drilling, note the insertion site of the tendon graft into the tunnel and mark the entry point with a marking pen. Measure a distance of 17 mm from the initial line, mark again, and cut any excess tendon. Finally, whip stitch the remaining portion of the tendon. Drill over the 2.4 mm guide wire with a 5.5 mm reamer to a depth of 17 mm and remove the reamer and guide wire. Load the free end of the graft onto the 6.25 mm biocomposite tenodesis screw and insert the tendon and screw into the calcaneal tunnel and advance the screw until it is fully seated into the bone socket. This completes the repair.